one of the greatest privileges that we have is to enter into prayer. Let us do so right now. At this sacred time, we come together for a single purpose, united prayer. These prayers that we share, they reach out to touch people in every corner of the world. Prayer is universal. We join our hearts and our minds in the stillness of prayer. Let us unite now by praying this beautiful prayer given to us by Jesus Christ. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we also have forgiven our debtors. And leave us not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. The Christ Spirit surrounds us as we move into this holy time of tranquility. We now relax minds and bodies and turn our thoughts inward to the indwelling peace. There is a calming peace that is washing over you. You feel at one with the Christ. As you dwell in the silence of prayer, we remember these comforting words of Jesus Christ. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you. Our prayer for inner peace is now happening. There is an inner peace that is literally in filling you from the top of your head to the bottom of your feet. You are centered in peace. You focus your thoughts on divine direction. And in this peace, you know that God is leading the way. You know that you're never alone and that you travel the path of life with God. For Christ is always with you to guide and direct. In every situation, the Christ is the ray of light that shines brightly, illuminating our way. We walk through life serene and secure, knowing that paths are bright and our way is clear. How grateful we are for this divine guidance. How certain we are that the way to perfect peace and the perfect plan for our life is before us. Make me to know thy ways, O Lord. Teach me thy paths. We are centered in the Christ presence. And we gently turn our thoughts to healing. Begin to sense right now an irrepressible desire for perfect health and wholeness. Our nature is to be strong. And our nature is to be well. As we pray, as we believe, we feel God's healing work taking place in us. We know that even the smallest cell reacts to the Christ presence within. As each atom of our bodies attracts the healing life of God, we are bathed in perfect health, which becomes more and more evident. 
The Bible says, For I will restore health to you, and your wounds I will heal, says the Lord. Our prayer for healing is now being made manifest. We now consciously open ourselves up to the good that awaits us, knowing that God's world is filled with abundance, and we accept that as part of God, as a child of God. We have faith that Christ is providing for all of our needs. And as we realize this, any impression in our mind of lack, it disappears. As we bask in the light of prosperity, we remember as children of a loving provider, we are always centered in generous ways, centered in the mind of God. And as we learn to graciously and wondrously receive, we also learn to give. And we are twice blessed, as the Bible states, and the Lord will make you abound in prosperity. We hold to that truth now, and it is so. We now return our attention to this present moment, bringing with us a new perspective of the activity of the Christ in our lives, in our mind, in our bodies, in our careers. We are filled in this moment with thoughts of peace, thoughts of guidance, thoughts of health, and thoughts of prosperity. And we go forward from this place to discover our good, knowing that it is now so. The light of God surrounds us. The love of God enfolds us. The power of God protects us. The presence of God watches over us. Wherever we are, God is. In Jesus Christ's name, amen.